Okay, so we're having a look at the C natural minor scale today, and the C natural minor scale is um, a very, very common scale. You're going to come across it loads and loads in guitar playing, so it's well worth getting your head around. Now, if we have a look at the scale again, you're going to note that basically the C uh, natural minor scale has three flats in it, which are E, A, and B. And that's going to really kind of give you the go ahead to know that we can use anything with those flats in it to create and we can use this scale. So if we look at the scale, we're gonna go C, uh, D, E flat, um, F, G, A flat, B flat, and then back to C again. So um, yeah, it's, again, as I say, it's well worth getting your head around this scale. It's a great scale to use over loads of different guitar playing, and it's gonna open up your ability to play in different keys by uh, learning all the different natural minor scales, all the different major scales as well, and loads of other things as well. But let's start with the basics. Let's get our head around this scale. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in, have a, a close up look of what the uh, scale actually looks like on the fretboard, and then um, hopefully that's gonna help you um, improve on your playing. C natural minor. <laughs> C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. A3, A5, A6, D3, D5, D6, G3, G5. So I hope you have found that useful. Uh, this was the C natural minor scale, and there are loads of different scales to... Um, work your way through but as I've said in the past uh, you can always use um, you know the patterns techniques as well so that's going to help you dramatically when it comes to um, playing lots of different scales if, even if you haven't learnt that scale yet you can certainly play in the key uh, just with some basic understanding and we've done gone through that in other videos so that's well worth sort of checking out uh, other ideas you can do as well oh, is you can um, play in different positions so whereas we've learnt it here we could take it to here, starting exactly the same sort of technique, but we're going to start from the 8th fret of the E string, so that's another place um, that you can look into playing as well, just to add some variation into your playing. But uh, this episode has been all about the um, A natural minor scale. I hope that has been useful to you, and um, keep rocking, and uh, playing some great solos. And I'll see you in the next episode.